Okay, horrible job done. I've got some stones to go into the bigger gaps, but they're out now. So I'm gonna put some mortar behind, then put the stone in and then go around. And then this area here is actually rock solid. There's no air behind it. There's no gaps behind it. So I'm not gonna break out the render just to make a nice neat line. But we did have some problems up here, if you remember. Oh, where am I here? I've chased that out. So I'm now ready for a cup of tea. I've just opened the door. We've just got back. I've opened the door because Miss Anna has got a kitten that was on the roadside. We've seen this once before in the middle of nowhere. So we just thought we'd pick him up or her up and we'll feed her and take her to the vets tomorrow, see if she's tagged. Um, if she is, we can take her back to the, okay, honey, her owner. And if she's not, we can get her jabbed and look after her. Sure, it's the same one that I saw a few days ago that was down the lane, um, miles, miles away from any home. Well, one thing is for sure, and she is absolutely starving. She's just finished off the dog food. We haven't had time to put cat food down for her. And uh, we've just given her some cat milk and she's just lapping it up. So she's very hungry. What's the verdict then, honey? She's very hungry, isn't she? Yeah, I think it's that cat we saw the other day. I think she's been dumped. I think you're right. I think it is the same. I only saw the front of it, but it was white. Had a white front like this little girl. So I think the responsible thing, she obviously is hungry, isn't she? So I think the responsible thing to do would be... Take to the vets. Yep. It's okay, sweetheart. It's only the other cats. Poor Pimples. He looks really, really chunky compared to her. Yeah, and he's not a big cat, is he? And the fact she was sleeping on the road as well wasn't good, as you said. Mm -hmm. So before we set off, we've just been to the vet. We've taken Charlie with us, who's in the back. He was like star of the veterinary surgery. They all love Charlie. Like, oh my God, oh mon dieu, c'est il est fantastique. So that was good. But the main reason we went was to take this little one. Starving one. To have him checked out. Her. Sorry, her. Um, and the good news is, um, well, good news is for us, not for poor girl. She's not been chipped. Oh, look, she wants to hold my hand. She's not been chipped. So she's got no viruses. 
yes, you got an all clear. We've had a we've had a, a couple of injections. Oh, it's there. It's gone down there. Uh, they don't think we should go back for her have her spayed until the new year. Yeah, because she's she needs fattening up. Yeah, she's she needs to be thing. stronger. Anna's just worked out that she's <laughs> typically French. She's eating croissant. We're starving because we came out first thing this morning, so we're having we're having a croissant in the supermarket car park on the way home. And this poor little thing <laughs> absolutely likes butter croissant. So we're just on our way back now, so that's good news. So um, full full bill of health. She's been microchipped. We've had a microchip, so she's officially uh, registered to us now. Um, so let's get her home. Now, one thing we didn't uh, do when we closed the pool is add a winter treatment. Um, over here, it's called Hiven Hivenage, Hivenage, or in German, it's called the Winter Feet, um, and it's an additive. Don't quite know. There's no chemical dominant chemical on it, but it's a, an additive that you put in the pool. Sorry, it's an additive that you put in the pool, and over winter, it uh, it helps the reduction of algae. Now, what happens if you remember we drain the pool right down? Um, and what we do is we rely on the winter period to slowly top the pool back up with rainwater until it gets to the the drain at the top um, and then it it, it uh, overflows so um, as the winter progresses the uh, mixture if you like the uh, solution becomes weaker and weaker as more rainwater is added to it so we need to keep an eye on it so we don't have so much work to do when we open it but for now I'm going to pour in this treatment let me just quickly show you it it looks like it's 12 parts poly dimethylene co -ip -ip whatever that is. Uh, 12 parts of that per 100 parts, or so 12% of that. Um, so let's hope that does the job. Let's pop it in. So tonight we are at a 50s event. Are we? Yes. With sort of like do whopper. 50s, biking, um, probably a good dance, a dance event for us. Oh, that's better, a good dance event for us. And I'll just show you, look, around the cell defense, we've got, um, the bar is just here, and the prices for the drink are so cheap. Big glass of wine for Anna was 50 cents, and beers are a, pan, a euro. So, um, but they've got a barber over here in the distance. Uh, just up, just up there. Look, they've got a barber. But funnily, fun, most fun of all, after they've got the sort of records and the memorabilia and the clothing, they've got this store here. And that store is is selling knives, big hunting knives and pocket knives. So. Not the sort of thing you'd expect to see at dance, is it? Honey? No, but I can go home feeling safe. Or, or hunting something. So we're just going to find somewhere now to go and sit on the floor. Tell me what you want me to do. 